uh, for my connections where with my little junction box I like to have I will hook up little wires onto here and then attach these to here and then I'll also show you how to hook up these here quick disconnects that way you can have them in between your panels that way in case you just need to take one out so that way you don't have to recut the wire first step is to strip it about like there these are the best pair of wire strip strippers I've ever had and slide your wire in here you see it poking there and then crimp it right about there Now you want to make sure it has a really good connection. Really crimp it further on down. And you can also back it up just one notch. Now we have a little more leverage. And for added protection if you wanted to, you can lightly sand these as well so they have a good connection. Then afterwards, just wrap a little bit of black tape around there, or electrical tape, I should say. Make sure everything's all nice and tight. Right. Uh, uh, for the extra angle, I put bigger brackets here on the top. I want to see how that will help it get more of a 30% angle. Smile. Alright, for the zip ties part, right. you come down about a foot. Wrap a zip tie around the uh, your wires. This here is 10 gauge wire. Be able to hold 20 amps. You can just snip it off. That way, as you're working with the wires on top, it'd be a lot easier to manage. No falling. Uh, can you take the cock gun for a second? Yeah. Keep it. Let go. Ready? We're gonna put them straight down. Straight. Put the screws inside the thing. Inside here? Yeah, then put the head on top. Mm. You're gonna need both arms to push on that. First or no, keep going. It has to go through metal. There you go. <clears throat> a little more on the other side. Then afterwards, use your finger and smear the caulk around and make a seal on the bottom all the way around. That way we won't have to worry about water getting up underneath us anyhow.
with the bottom ones I attach just right here for these quick releases you go ahead and strip off some of your wire you unscrew the bottom slide the bottom on first there's a little wire thing here well, when it's tight, it'll keep the wire from being pulled on. Then, you depends on which one you have. You slide in part of the wire you have stripped off, as you see there, on the inside. Crimp it down. After you crimp that down, go ahead and slide it, that part through there. Get your little lock washer thing lined up. Get it nice and tight. That's one side there. Let me go do the next side. Yeah, it might be a little long. It'll be right though. If you ever notice a big drop in your amperage, first thing you want to check is your quick connections and also make sure that, you know, your panels like covered in pollen or some other stuff like that. A good saver. I don't know if I'd be able to find that if I dropped it all the way down there on the ground. Always make sure you get that lined up and snugged in there first before you put the bottom cap. Usually you can buy these here off eBay or someplace like that, fairly cheap.
hand. Connect positive with positive. Negative with negative. And make sure the wires are not blocking the solar light. And you should be all set to go. Okay, we had to stop for a little bit because of the rain. But now we're getting the other one hooked up right beside it. It's a little bit ways down, not too bad. This one here, I was too anxious before I put the white coat on the back. That's why there's white all fog. It still puts out about three amps though. Well, three and a half to four amps. It's going backwards, Brandon. Huh? It's going backwards. Oh. Now you just simply connect the wires. Lift up, Brandon, have the other ones up in between. No, on the higher side of that one there. There you go, just like that. Trying not to get cocking everywhere. Wipe the cock off that one first that you can. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, man. Here, if this shit don't work, you're climbing back up here, damn it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Kids are messy. Well, it's the next day, and the sun's out. I'm barely getting four amps, so something's not connected right. So I'm gonna go check connections. With the two little ones with the Harbor Freight and one of the small old panels I made has spawn juice come out. It's like rocking at like 13.7 volts on batteries. So we check out. See what type of problems are going on. Looks like I found my problem right there. I was in too hurry. Clip that around the plastic and not around the metal. As you can see, I just retook out the little quick snap boxes, uh, cable connectors, and just put regular ties and black wire. It's working better now. Okay, I went ahead and removed all the connectors right there, because even after I rewired them, they were still not working correctly. Now, I'm getting some more voltage. Well, amperage. That's the reason my camera's a little foggy. There you go. Getting 12 amps now. And after I borrow the longer ladder from my dad, I'm going to check the other connection there and see if it goes up higher. Just in the afternoon with the light barely touching the panels, it should probably get around 4 to 5 amps. I'll be able to test it out later during the day. It has right voltage during midday morning. Yeah, you can see right now it's getting about four amps.
Alright, looks like everything's working fine. I'll keep you updated.